and you have everything here. Another world down here. Food and pharmacy and... That's crazy. Yeah, you have everything. We're gonna take one of these trains and they come all the time. Three to five minutes there's a train passing by oh. here. Yeah, okay. And you have to know all the stations yes. where they are. Yeah. It's, it's better that you actually know if it's stopping there or not. Yeah. They only show um, this. This is much better. Yeah. Mm. Well, the one thing that's good about this is you can actually see signs up yeah, here. Yeah. Go to a certain place, you can just kind of follow the arrow. Yeah, I've, see, I've seen mm -hmm. also that they have sometimes lines on the, on the floor. That's nothing you see in Sweden. The I biggest think. you get in, in like now. Stockholm subway system is probably a sub convenience store or something. Oi, oi, oi. It's like, big. I, 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 when they were talking about sinkholes, I yeah. think this maybe. Yeah. <laughs> There's so yes. many layers of yes. people. Wow. One world up there, another world down here. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so big. I wonder underneath here, there might even be more layers of stuff. Maybe the I mean, subway. Yeah, the trains, yeah. But I don't know how deep this stuff goes. No. Uh... There, there's more shops in this subway station than there is in our town. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. And you have everything here. Food and pharmacy and... That's crazy. Yeah, you have everything. David, so some... Many. Sometimes it said six and seven, what's that? It's not the subway, is These it are like, exit? If you take exit number six here, you go uh -huh. up to a certain area. Uh -huh. and you wouldn't go into a place, you also should yeah. know which exit to go to. Uh -huh. Right, to right. Mm. You don't have to cross the street, mm, it's right. better to go up. You have to cross six different streets mm. just to get to where you're going. Okay. So it's better to follow, just That's get up smart. at the yes. location. That's That's really smart. Good. It's like a whole city under the yes, ground. Yes, it is. I was just an elevator. What's that for? It's, it's also coming. Well, it's just for like getting up and down. If you're going some old or disabled, or you can get get down. Or if you have the children. Yeah, that too. So if you got the feeling that oh, I need to shop, then you can do it on your way home from the subway. Yeah, right. If you live at exit eight, maybe yeah. you will have to walk five minutes through yeah. all these shops to even get to your house. That's also cool. See, they got Wi-Fi running right here. Look at this thing. Oh, okay. I see there somewhere it's like it says free so Wi-Fi. Right, there's a lot of free Wi-Fi in that. Where you recharge the money cards. Yeah, yeah. If you have a card, you can put the card in the machine, put some cash in, and it just like powers up your card. You've been okay. trying that before. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. Subway card. Money card. We're gonna go to this spot right there, to Gooey. Yeah. We're gonna take one of these trains, and they come all the time. Three to five minutes, there's a train passing by oh. here. Yeah, okay. But you need to know. You go this way or that way, this is the other way. Yeah? So you have to choose the right side. So you yeah. Yeah. need to see the next station. Maybe. Right. Yeah. And I think it's good, the numbers. If you don't remember the name, you can remember the numbers. Mm -hmm. This That's is right. a yeah. bit tricky one. How or? do you know if it's not going this way? It's this not way. a problem for us because we're Stop just going here. there. Yeah. <laughs> but if, if you would, you can look at the end station. If based on that, you know. In, in Stockholm, in Sweden, I think you only see these ones. You don't see. Uh, the like, next. Like this this is much to, better than they, Sweden. They only oh. show this. Then you have to know all the stations yes. where they are. Yes. So it's, it's better that you actually know if it's stopping there or not. Yeah. This is much better. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what does this mean? That's a line, a transfer line. So there's line number five and there's a couple of other lines. And it's ah. So we're going this way. Okay. Then. So here is the train right oh. here. Yeah. So you can and see this see. goes to Chamshiraru, uh, the, yeah. up there, yes. What's really different is in Sweden, in somewhere in Stockholm, they have this is open, open tracks. Right. So this is much safer. It's more held together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't feel the wind from no, the train. No. That's, that's really good yeah. too. Compared to Sweden, this is so clean and good air and bright. The, the Swedish subway is actually a cave. So when yeah. you look up, you just see stone, you just see rocks here. You kind of feel like you can fall down. Yeah, yeah. It's clean, huh? Quite, quite. People are not screaming or talking so much. No, it's, it's quite good to keep the tone down, yeah. not too loud. I like this uh, peaceful atmosphere. You can yeah. bring food on the train? Uh, you shouldn't eat on the train. You can bring food, but you shouldn't unpack it and uh, stop eating. Yeah. It's smart that they have this seat. Yeah, yeah. I have a bunch of these. If you're pregnant, you get to have a seat. Yeah. Now you can see the view of the whole oh, scene yeah. here. There is one river. And now we're leaving the Chamsil like, side. I think on this side you can see Gangnam here. And it's wow. quite green. Yeah, the yeah. area here, close to the water. Mm. That's more your 
Yeah, you, it, it electronically shows like like where we are. Even if you like want to just glance at it, okay, I know if, if you take this every day, yeah. Yeah. you know where what yeah. is. Yeah. For us, that are new <laughs> in this. Very scene. helpful. Yeah. yeah. It's very helpful. I know the Swedish train seats, they are lined up like in a bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But like this train yeah. gets so crowded, so it, I think it's the ultimate design oh. is to have just a lot of space so that a lot of people can stand. Yeah, yeah that's more. And yeah. hey, Swedish trains don't have this. Nope. No, no, no. In our town there's no train, so like we don't even we don't we even don't have a subway. No. no. We don't know. And it's saying which side even the exit is. It this stop is Hui. Oh, maybe. So now it's, uh, it's time to it's uh, head out. When you see the train here in Korea, you can see that very peaceful and like people yeah. are sleeping and reading and it looks like there's not a single worry. They leave their stuff up mm. above them in the in the top so rack. It feels very safe. Completely safe. How do you feel compared it, with the it, Swedish yeah, one? It, it, I mean, we don't have subway no, trains in our city, so <laughs> no, but, but I think the atmosphere both in the stations and when you go down to the tracks, yeah, can be a little bit scary. Yeah. Because there can be some gangs or there can be some teenagers who yeah, making yeah. a little bit of fuss and all that. Similar, yeah, it's similar to and, in Europe. Europe and overall. It's kind yeah, of, yeah, you don't feel really comfortable all the time. It depends on who's on the platform. Yeah. I, it can also be inside the train because mm. then they, they shout and they, they can try, be loud to, they try to be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. when they're a gang. A group of a group guys, of yeah. One by one, I think it's mainly okay. People are mostly uh, yeah. listening to yeah. music or like yeah, standing yeah. by themselves. But I feel also like general like atmosphere in the in the train is very like peacefully harmonious here. Here, if, yeah, if yeah, you, yeah, yeah. If you compare to the Swedish train, there's this like suspicious eerie vibes to it sometimes like oh is someone behind me is someone looking at me there's people when you go in and out from the robotic doors when you pay if you go up alone there's someone usually behind you in certain times of the day who tries to get in with you together with when yeah, it sneak, opens sneak, up yeah. they try to yeah. run in with you so that they can get a free ride yeah. Yeah. But sometimes I, mm. I've seen them just jump these youngsters like teenagers yeah. they just jump they just jump across so they don't pay they just take it it was same with the bus my friend who lives in the south yeah. she was gonna take the bus and there's guys with knives coming to the bus driver and saying I'm getting on and the bus ride cost three dollars or four dollars yeah. and they and they still using the knife threateningly instead of paying it's crazy I don't know it sounds like now we're describing a country at war yeah, but no, but, no no but but it's, but, and it's also mainly not in every station no, but, but no. certain lines you don't at really the edges of Stockholm mm -hmm. I think it's more disrupted or, or, or really central but, or central yeah there's more like drugs and stuff there in the central Stockholm but like if you would say if you go out certain lines I felt really peaceful too there's one thing in Swedish stations it's like this cave when you're gonna go into the subway you go down and there's a cave you see the rock mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes they did painting they did like yeah. public art in it and stuff yeah. so it can be quite cool to explore yeah. it's, it's a different vibe mm. here it's just very organized very efficient very clean but, but yeah. safe Feel yeah like a, a cave it, doesn't feel as no. safe <laughs> no. yeah what, what makes the transportation attractive here I think is it, it runs all the time yeah. on time and it's very cheap if mm. you compare it to and others. clean and safe and clean and safe everything mm. is mm. Good. that's a big benefit of having such a big population because like when you have this big population you can constantly run public transport because there's enough people paying yeah. all the yeah, time yeah, yeah. that you can yeah. afford it yeah. if you have Sweden that's five times as big only problem is the rush hours because then everyone wants to use it at the same same time <laughs> but overall it's great for me it's very it's easy I don't have to ask anybody I can come from point A to point B I have a structural way of moving around yeah. it's, it's easy, easy to understand, easy to understand. Mm. yeah yeah I can go to this station I take the transport I see where it goes mm. I follow the lines it comes mm. it takes me there maybe it takes 10 15 minutes more than this. and this but card is also very smart because mm. you money on it and you just blip it and when your journey is ended you just blip it and then it's been a mm. European country and then taxis you never know how much will they charge you will, they, ta will they take you to the place you want to or this is one is going to cheat you in some way or I know they are not doing that here but here I certainly know to take and the taxis mm. here are polite and clean yeah, and I've nice seen, I've seen that and now but yeah. my experience with other countries mm. They, they want to negotiate, you don't know really what the price with can yeah, I trust yeah. this, this, so it's a different story here. Yeah, yeah. When you travel around, what do you choose? The subway, the bus? It depends on the group, if, if we are like four people or something, it might as well take a taxi because the taxi prices are so good, so you, okay. just, you just split it on four, you know. If I'm alone, I, it depends on what's faster, uh -huh. so like if I'm gonna into Jongno or something, mm -hmm. I will just take the train, like the subway, because yeah. there's no bus that conveniently takes me there. Uh -huh. 
uh, if I'm going here to near to Chamshil, it's better to take a bus because mm -hmm. that bus goes from our house to here in like 25 minutes oh. or something.